what do we say when we say, uh, where the fuck are you going? What is the fuck doing there? It's not a, a place, it's not even a noun, it's a verb, and it has to do with sexuality. How can we make sense of that? Why do people say, um, close the fucking door? It's not as if the door is engaged in copulation at that moment. Or even the, the worst thing that you can say to someone, fuck you, it's ungrammatical. It should be fuck yourself. What's the deal with those from a linguistic point of view? Well, I think what the deal is that all of them are substitutions for older religious imprecations. Close the damned door. Damn you. Where in the hell are you going? Those all make sense. They originally made sense to the first speakers who used them. Once religious swearing lost its impact with the general decline of religion, people had to reach for something that had the same emotional impact, and so they substituted these words for, uh, with scatological or sexual meanings simply because they had the same negative emotion. Taboo language, I think, is a very revealing window into human emotions. For one thing, it reveals that there is a, a set of concepts that people in many or most cultures find very uncomfortable to think about. Now, of course, swearing isn't the same in all languages. Uh, in some languages, it's uh, scatological. In some languages, it's sexual. In some, it's religious. But in all languages, there are some concepts that are just very, very emotionally touchy. What we're seeing there is the repertoire of human emotions carry a lot of punch, uh, often in a negative direction. And also, there's a, a social dimension to all of these. It's one thing to think about feces. It's another to actually put the thought out there and share it publicly. Even though taboo words are taboo, you don't use them lightly, there are circumstances in which you want to use them. You know, if a, a wife says to a husband, I've been, uh, I looked at your email and I see that while well, I've been taking care of the kids, you've been fucking your secretary. The time for politeness is past. <laughs> the whole point of the communication is to uh, emphasize how awful this is. Because I think taboo words have this extra emotional punch, sometimes the emotional punch can even float free of the original referent because different swear words can sometimes substitute for each other, even if it makes no sense in terms of meaning, makes no sense in terms of syntax, the only common denominator is the strong emotion. <laughs>